Street, 12 Days of Stash Miss. We are back with a brush declutter. So I've got, sorry, a few brushes here in my stash laid out for you. So there's a few more. Okay, I've got more. I'm just gonna lay them like this. And we'll kind of break them up into groups because... Why? Um, just so that way I can kind of go through like what all I'm getting rid of and what all is going to stay. So we'll just stick those like right there. Okay, so first things first, I have like all my MAC brushes are in this one right here. So this is like my MAC 217s, my MAC 159. There's, I guess there is an Anastasia brush in here, the A25 I think it is. Yeah, no, the A23. Come on, come on camera, pick it up. And then my 224. So those are all going to stay. Like, I'm not getting rid of those brushes. So I'm just leaving them in this um, mason jar. Okay, next thing's next. I want to... Um, okay, so these brushes right here. It's this brush, I believe. It's the foundation stippling brush. Yeah, this is the foundation stippling brush, which is the same thing as this. And I think I've got some more coming. So this will be in a giveaway. And if not, then this one will be in a giveaway. The face buffer brush. And then um, this makeup geek brush here. Uh, probably going to be in a giveaway because I ordered some more. What up, what up, Benny Bluey? How did that break? It didn't break. I've got it at a 90 degree angle so that people can see. I'm not giving away any of my makeup geek brushes. They're some of my best performing brushes that I own. So here they are. Just kind of showing them to you. These will all stay. I use them quite frequently. My Eco Tools brush. This is one of the very first brushes that I ever received from my mom as a gift. Like she just one year, you know, got me some brushes, some makeup brushes. And so this is going to stay. These two, however, I got in a set. Hey, Zaya. And I think I'm gonna, gonna declutter these maybe. I don't know. Because you know, the thing is, is I just don't put them in the rotation that often. But this foundation brush is ridiculous. I don't use these types of brushes, so. Um, that's in the maybe pile. And this is in the keep pile. Okay, so let's go over this brush set right here has, uh, it's actually two separate sets. So there's an eye brush set with the white goat hair. Come on, there you go, come on. And uh, my camera. This is why I hate autofocus. Like, <laughs> give me manual all day long. I never shoot in auto, but this particular camera I have to. Anyways, um, this brush set right here is my Chinese artisan brushes. I'm not getting rid of those. I just acquired them this year and they are beautiful. I love them. They are definitely staying. So they have their own box right here. And there's some more. Sometimes I think it's just more helpful to go through what you're going to keep and start then going through, you know, the rest of it. And there's a couple more brushes from that set. I'm keeping them all. I'm just one of those types of people I like to keep my brushes together. So if I get rid of them, it's like in a set. This is also a MAC brush. It's the 129. So I'm going to put it back with the MAC brushes. This one too. All right. Okay, let's talk about my Sigma set. So my Sigma set here, and I have the rest of the brushes over here. I just wanna show it to you really quick. Come on camera, focus. Oh. See that, it's wiggling loose already. And I don't use this set enough. This one was wiggly when it came to me and I didn't realize that Sigma had a two year warranty, but it was already wobbly. So this is my very, very first set that, my big girl set that my husband got me. Oh, this is a Makeup Geek brush. I gotta put this away. Um, This is the very first big girl set that I got from 
my husband when I asked for Christmas one year for some Sigma brushes. He got me the premium set. And so I'm not giving them away, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and store them, stash them in their, their brush kit. Okay, so I grabbed the brush, I don't know, folder for it or whatever, and I'm just going to go ahead and put them back in there. So I just want to do this kind of quickly for you guys to show you what I'm decluttering. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so because I've got great content. This is a faceless series or primarily a faceless series. Try to be a faceless series. This one I bought extra, but it doesn't actually go with the set. Um, these are all Sigmas. This is a Sigma brush that I got in the set. Um, I did eventually grab a couple extra Sigma brushes that weren't in the set, but I can find homes for them in the portfolio here. As I find them, I will go ahead and start putting them in that case. They're just going to go ahead and kind of get like semi-retired. I'll just wash them really good and then, um, put them in that case and, you know, I have them if I ever want to use them, but... They're just not something I reach for that often, so I don't really want them out and about, okay? Next up, my Anastasia brushes. I kind of go, again, like I said, in sets because, I don't know, when I, when I think of like brushes, if I keep one, then I just keep them all. Um, I know I have some more Anastasia brushes here somewhere. Here it is. And then I've got one more somewhere. I think I use it, and that's why. So I'm keeping them. I think they're pretty pretty useful. Um, I have a video. You can go check it out. I will go ahead and somewhere in here, and like the last little bit of the video, go ahead and link my brush review playlist so you guys can see. I review quite a few of these brushes as a set. And then you guys can know exactly which brushes to buy and which ones to skip out on. So hopefully this isn't like too wobbly. It's too cold, honey. It's like way cold outside. Can I take my jacket down? Well, we could, but your hands will still get cold, even in gloves. This brush set right here, I bought a couple other ones. I am going to keep these. I don't use them much anymore, but I really like them. I don't, I think these are like Japanese or something. Might be, oh no, they might be NARS. They were expensive. I think. They're like a rattan brush. I love the shape of the tulip and it is very scratchy though. Those are brush guards, sweetie. Why? Well, you put them on brushes to hold their um, shape a little bit better. Mm-hmm. So those will stay. Oh, I think this goes without saying, but <laughs> oh, there's another Sigma brush. I'm gonna put that in this pile. These are my Morphe. I bought the eye brush faves collection. I think I have 14 of the brushes left. I do use this little thing here. I kind of like it, but I don't really care for the rest of the set, and I would never use it. So I think. What I'm going to do is Mommy, put it in the box. Is what is what? So I'm back. I got the, <laughs> this is the box. Believe it or not, I kept it just in case I didn't like the brushes. So maybe I should just go ahead and take that as a cue. And just, so here's what I have to say. This Elite Gunmetal Collection, the E, the E Collection. There's another one and another one and another one. That is an excellent quality set, but again, because it's synthetic hair, there's really nothing to it. Like, it's supposed to be soft. It's supposed to blend up. Oh, there's another one. Those are brush guards, baby. They hold the brushes in place. But these right here, you see how I got green on it? It's because these are the brushes that I use when I'm, you know, testing out whether or not I want to use, like, a green or a purple eyeshadow. I don't use my good brushes, my good Fude or Chinese artisan brush. I just use these. What is this? So they're going to go in this box and get 
I don't know. I might just pass it on to somebody. I really, I never, ever, ever reach for these brushes. Okay, let's move on. This brush here, um, it's going to go in the maybe pile because I'm not sure. I use this brush actually quite a bit. So I'm going to keep it. This is my Robert Lee Morris. It's a, it's a MAC 135 brush essentially, but I bought it. Come on. And I'm going to keep it. Stop. Next up, this is going to obviously stay. And it goes kind of with like my food aid brushes. I don't use it very often though. It's not a very good. There's another Eco Tools brush. I'll probably end up keeping them because every year when I try to declutter, they just never go. Um, oh, here's the only Morphe brush I absolutely love. I've never found a replacement for it. it is the Morphe 510. But it's like absolutely ridiculous. She, I probably just popped this ferrule right off. But I keep it because this, this right here, I've never seen a brush like that. It's very, very cheaply packed, I can tell you. And it's great for highlighter. That'll stay. All right, refer. I think that goes without saying I'm going to keep them. I, I like the refer brushes. I use them frequently. So I think those definitely should stay just because I don't really own that many I don't own that many food days so for sure um this obviously you guys know how I feel about the p21 if you don't go check out my playlist you will fall in love with those brushes all right so here is there's another sigma I have a lot of sigma brushes for never using them I have a lot of them there is one more brush in this set. I can't find out. I can't figure out for the life of me where it is. And I want to say it's like a pencil brush. And I must have lost it. That's extremely frustrating. But anyways, I like these brushes. They're really cheap. But I do like them. So, they'll stay. They're just some of my cheaper brushes. That, you know... I don't always reach for, but they're there when I, you know, put, I put them through the rotation. These are my Zuevas that I bought and they're decent, but I mean, like, I'm not in love with them. This brush right here looks like it straight got its hair chopped off. These are synthetic goat hair blends. And so I don't really deal with them too much because they kind of fall into two different categories. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I have a brush classification video that I can um, link for you guys in the eye and down below. So I'm gonna keep them, I use them. All right, this brush right here belongs to a set that I received from an AliExpress seller. Here's the brush set. It was like a 28 piece brush set. I used to use these, you can see it right there on like special effects, but I just don't know if I need this many brushes anymore. I'm just not sure that it's my, it's, it's serving me anymore to have this many brushes, but I think I'll, if I find somebody to give them to, I think I'll pass them on because Day long are gone are the days of me doing makeup on other people and practicing special effects. I did it one year and I just have to say I don't like it. All right, we're dwindling down again. Another Eco Tools brush. I like this one actually, it's kind of nice. So I'm gonna keep it. So, which means I'll probably keep all the Eco Tools brushes. All right, I do have four Smith Cosmetics brushes. And I think it goes without saying I'm gonna keep these. I use these quite frequently. I like them. I rather enjoy them. Okay, this brush right here. Ugh, I hate it. <laughs> There's like no nice way of putting it. I hate the brush. It's big, it's bulky. You know, I have this fox hair brush and I feel like it does such a better job, even though it's not the same. I thought I liked this type of bronzing brushes and it turns out I don't. Oh man, and I spent so much money on it. It's like, how do you say no to, you know, like how do you break up with the brush when you've spent so much, 
when you've invested so much. I don't know. I don't know. Probably gonna keep it. Um, you know, I've used it in a couple of videos just like for funsies. I'll probably keep it. And I don't have these out, but my unique brushes, I'm gonna keep them. They're still working, they're still going strong. I like to put them in the rotation, so this is just one of them. Okay. I don't, I must be the only person that thinks that Real Techniques brushes are not that good. This is the only set I've ever purchased from Real Techniques. And they're just not what I expected them to be. I just, I don't know, like they're just not that good. I really don't want them anymore. I don't know, I got this brush right here thinking that it would put on my eyeshadow primer and it just doesn't work. And then I thought, well, maybe this one would and it doesn't work. Well, this one works a little bit better, but I don't know, I'll keep them. I bought exactly one Makeup Forever brush this was like $24 or something like that. This is the Wavy, the 242. I'm gonna keep it, I, I do like it. Um, don't really use it much anymore though. I bought one Sephora Pro Crease brush a while back. Pretty much garbage. Don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it's shedding. I don't really like it. Sorry if that's like bothering you and the dust is flying everywhere and that bothers you. I'm just deciding whether or not I need to wash the brushes before I put them back or not. Okay, let's move on to this set right here. This set right here I reviewed. Again, it'll be in my playlist. I'm linking in the eye. At first, I really didn't like it. Like this brush right here, I don't like. All right, I can do without this. But this brush I like. And really, actually, all these like small shader type brushes, I really thoroughly enjoy. I just really do actually enjoy them. Sorry. I enjoy them. So I'm going to keep them. And the liner brushes, those are nice too. They do take up a lot of space because the base is actually wider than where the ferrule is. And so um, it's kind of annoying, <laughs> but yeah. All right, this Essence brush, I'm gonna keep it just for old time's sake. I purchased one Jaclyn Hill by Morphe brush and because I thought this was a dupe for the MAC 242. All I can say is, in my opinion, Jaclyn Hill had one job, retiring from her MAC business and starting her own cosmetics line, and that was to perfect the MAC 242. She did not do that, so. But this was the brush I thought duped it. And it doesn't, it doesn't do it at all. I'm gonna keep it though, um, I do use it occasionally. This is my Chic Hodo brush. Um, it's just a synthetic, like it can pack on your MAC Painterly or any of your other eyeshadow primers. So I'm gonna keep it, it's nice. Nothing spectacular though. Okay, my Japanese brushes. I thought I had more than just this one. I do have a few more somewhere, but I'm keeping my Japanese brushes. I do like putting them in the rotation. I don't like love them, love them, but this brush is pretty cool for contouring. It is the 718, so, you know, it's fine. They work. Um, they're nothing to write home about, but they work. Honorable mention, it, this didn't even come out of the thing. This right here is a Delium Tools Golden Triangle 785 Taper Blending. This is one of the most realistic brushes I have found to mimic um, real natural hair. And it is so wonderful. It's soft, blends very easily, picks up a lot of pigment. It's kind of, I think it's a, it's a Taclon fiber. It's similar to um, what Sigma uses. So excellent brush. I wish I could, I wish I would have bought the whole set, but I just got one because at the time I was just looking at blending brushes. Jessup is a really good quality brand. Um, I always suggest buying individual brushes unless you just truly need a set. But this is the MAC, or the Jessup 224. That's a Morphe brush, <laughs> that garbage. Uh, maybe that's the 14th brush. Anyways, um, the small shader is right here, 231, and then 
your concealer brush. Like, they're not super well laser cut, but you know, like, I think I paid under $2 for these two brushes, and this one might have been like $3. So, you know, they're gonna stay. I use them. I use them more for like detailed work, which I haven't really done a lot of those looks. Here's another um, Essence liner brush. I'm gonna keep it. It's not something that I use like all the time, but I have used it once. <laughs> that sounds terrible, but I think that's all I've ever used it. Okay, so we're down to the last few brushes here. This is a Lydia T210, I believe. I thought it was Kolinsky or Weasel. I don't think it is though, but it's kind of, I think it's supposed to be like a mimic of that type of hair and I'm going to keep it. I use it a lot. You've, If you watch like all my channel, you know, like if you're an avid watcher or whatever, I use this quite frequently. And it's on, it's sold on AliExpress, I believe. I will try to link it down below. Last time I looked for the link because I was talking with somebody in um, the Food A group and read it. I was trying to link this because I thought it was a Kolinsky hair, but actually thinking back, I don't think it is because it was like under $5. So I'm sure it, I mean, Kolinsky hair is just, it's not that cheap. And this is pretty good quality. So I'm, I'm assuming it's like a pony hair, but it's really good quality going to keep it. My cousin gave me this brush um, from Germany and I actually kind of like it, but it is super dense and it is very like <laughs> laser cut really well actually. So I'll probably keep it, but I don't, I don't reach for it too often. Okay. This is a goat hair, my destiny brush. I tried one from this line. I don't particularly care for them. There's nothing wrong with them, but nothing that stands out. So yeah. Okay. Going to keep it. It's the 025 kind of reminds me of, I mean, I like this type of brush. I like this type of brush, but just not, wasn't super, super satisfied with it for how much I paid. But nonetheless, okay, this is also a My Destiny. It's from their um, Snow White collection, I believe. This is a fox hair, a snow fox hair brush. Works really good. It's not as good as my um, my line, you know, that I have right here. So I have another one that's fox hair, and I'm sure I won't be able to find it now. There it is. So that's Snow Fox hair. It's just a little bit softer and a little bit better quality. But nonetheless, it's still a really good brush. I'm going to keep it around. It's kind of a nice, precise blender. So like if you're just looking to blend just a little bit above your crease, a little deepening, this is the perfect brush for it. And you can also slide it underneath your lash, lower lash line. And it's very soft for that. This is Elf Brush. This is gonna go. I don't ever use it. I don't even know what this came from. It's gonna go. That That's just garbage, all right? Just garbage. Okay, that's the Wet n' Wild brush. Mm, yeah, you can go too. <laughs> this right here, actually, believe it or not, is another Wet n' Wild. It's from their Pro line. It's the Pro 20. And it was like five bucks. I got on Amazon one year. It's gonna stay because like, I use it to compare to other brushes, but I don't really use it as a blending brush because I don't like synthetic blending brushes. This came from a kit and I actually, it's like a perfect cut crease brush. I love it. And I'm so afraid. I mean, it is really precise. I know it doesn't look like it, but once you get that concealer loaded in and you just form that edge, it's actually really nice. So probably going to keep it. Did I show you guys this one? Oh yeah, that's my Morphe, my junky Morphe brush. Okay. So I think I have all of my um, eye brush faves. I have my, okay, so I'm back with the last little bit here. I have a unique brush roll and actually I don't mind their brushes. Their brushes aren't too bad. This was like really kind of an afterthought, but whatever. This was like, <laughs> uh, who thought of that? Like, let's put a hole in this brush here, but whatever, you know, this is pretty much worthless as well. So, but I have kind of an issue with getting rid of the set because I just don't really want to. And like they launched some beachfront bronzer brushes I picked up. There's nothing really bad to say about the brushes, but nothing really good. I don't know if you guys have ever seen any of the unique, like the MLM 
um, rants and raves, but somebody said you could buy these for a dollar and they were selling it for like $32. But it turns out you have to buy like a thousand of these brushes in order for you to get them for the price point of a dollar. But it's just to let you know, like they really do have quite a huge markup. Um, that's goat hair or something. This has never even been open because it has one of those dumb little applicators. I think I tried giving it away once. Nobody wants them. Um, they do actually have really good like laser cut, you know, eyebrow brushes and liner brushes. So like I am, I cannot complain as far as unique goes with their brushes, but they were just too hit or miss of a brand for me. And I just, I mean, for how much they charged. Um, and then also you guys, I have the ColourPop brush roll. I enjoy it. I will keep it. It's nice. I really, you know, I like it. So it's definitely going to stay. Um, yeah, I think I just got these two Sigmas that I need to put over here and put away. And this Wet n Wild brush. And that's it, folks. It's pretty much it. Everything else is uh, good to go. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you guys like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm doing 12 days of this. Declutter, de-stash, add to the stash, all that good stuff. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel down below. And I cannot wait to see you in the next video.